So when you're a new player in World of Warships, which cruiser line would be the first good line to grind? And in my opinion, one of those lines is the US Heavy Cruiser line, which uh, teaches you how to play around islands. The these cruisers, like the US light cruisers, have uh, pretty high shell arcs, which makes them nice for spamming HE from behind islands. And the islands are the best armor in the game. If you are protected by an island, you can't really be shot by anyone from the other side of that island. And also, some of these heavy cruisers have pretty decent armor. For example, Baltimore here, which is the tier 8 cruiser, has pretty nice pretty nice 27 mm armor in the bow. And especially on occasions when you are top tier or even in an even tier match, for example, in brawls or ranked. Um, this bow lets you bow tank the same level cruisers AP. And so it's pretty nice. And what is also nice is that uh, these cruisers have quite good uh, utility. They have a surveillance radar starting from tier 8 onward and Baltimore gets a 10 kilometer radar which lasts last for 25 seconds and of course using a coal upgrade you can extend that somewhat. But the, the, in overall the, the even the default default um, duration for the radar is nice and 10 kilometers of range is really good. Then you get of course uh, hydro and AA fire which you can uh, choose. When you get to higher tiers, for example tier 10 where we had Des Moines, uh, they are quite uh, susceptible for uh, Malta's AB bombers. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But um, other than that, uh, they, are, they are quite strong. And basically you can either open water gun boat or if you are facing ships with a small enough gun caliber and not too much HE spam, you can sit next to an island and boat tank, which is often seen in uh, more competitive uh, game modes. Of course, in randoms, you kind of have to evaluate if you can camp islands or not. Uh, subs can make it uh, difficult and also some of the CVs. And for 10 point captain build, uh, I would choose crease the gears, then priority target so you know when you are being shot at, adrenaline rush, and concealment expert. So this is the basic 10 point captain build. Let's go to battle and see see what kind of matchmaking we get. If we get to a 10 tier match or even if we are top tier. And we are top tier, which is always nice because we need to be careful of the high gun caliber battleships. We have uh, three destroyers, which we are of course trying to support ours. We spawned in the east flank, uh, so we are heading C to provide uh, some cover for the sims. Uh, 10 kilometer range lets us uh, sit next to this island and and um, provide some support. Other op 
other choice would be to go here but uh, let's see looks like our sims is not interested of going to sea which is not a good idea good luck everyone yeah, that's a problem. Teammate, I need your support. Awaiting instructions. Uh, he, he's a new player. Yeah. Well, this kind of makes it uh, more complicated because without him, we don't have any spotting here. And now we are basically giving giving the flank for the for the enemy. I could go there, but I'll help have problems shooting anyone on this side of the sea cap. Well, I don't know. Maybe the Sims just is taking a different approach vector to sea. There's Cherboro. Our Alabama might be able to take a shot. North Carolina. Let's switch to HE. Uh, we have uh, enemy DD on C. Unfortunately, Cherboro has our broadside, so we can't really push there. Let's try to get a shot fire on the North Carolina while waiting. They have a high DPM cruiser, the mains approaching the cap as well. Seems is not moving in. Let's switch to AP. The American AP is really good and it also have has a improve penetrate and penetration angles so you can get citadels easier even when the ships are a little bit a little bit um, angling to you uh, let's pop a uh, radar so Alabama might get a shot on the on the Skåne there or Aviere Okay, we have Bluskovitsa. So, uh, let's see. Try not to show too much broadside, broad but still get some shots to the enemy enemy DD. Let's keep turning. Mines is probably staying behind that island. I'll try to farm us with HE. Let's try not to show too much broad. We don't have a heal, so all the damage we take is permanent. Are getting smoked by the sims. Nice. Let's see if we can reverse to the smoke. Let's pop a hydro. There shouldn't be torps, but.
7.2 kilometers of um, smoke detection range, which is something we need to consider. Some, some of their DDs might get close enough to spot us when we fire. I'll keep moving while I'm in the smoke. Uh, Strasper, uh, I think, repaired the fire. Let's try to relight him. We have still 20 seconds of smoke left. The gun arcs, um, or the shell velocities, pretty slow on the American cruisers, so you'll also get some exercise for tra uh, aiming. Okay, Aviere is a good target here. He's out of our radar range. Let's push a bit closer. We don't have any of the caps at the moment. Which is not good. Better better push this cap. Javier is engine boosting, so we'll try to put some more lead. The Cherbera is still there with the North Carolina. Kinda risky to shoot, but the enemy team has taken the lead. North Car we are getting cover from the island, so North Carolina won't be able to shoot us. Attention, reporting the target position. U dot chase on B. Cerbera is going down. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Enemy cruisers suck. North Carolina is pushing in. Torpedoes, direct front. Trying to get a fire on his bow. The enemy team has taken the lead. Nice. Yeah, we see the typical the US heavy cruiser ball tanking position next to an island, shooting with the uh, front guns. Getting fires. Trying to get another one on the bow. Seems like we are able to able to cap A soon. Let's see if we can raid out the North Call. There he is. Enemy 
He's going down. Enemy battleship foundered. Main and we have Strasbourg pushing in. Problem solved, sir. Our radar is still on reload. Hydro is running as the Yudachi is pro probably trying to torp us soon or try to push us. Okay, our DDs managed to kill him. Let's relocate. This the Nagato. Bliskavica might be somewhere here, but we'll get to radar him soon. We are undetected, now we are detected. There's the torps. Nagato overmatches us. There he is. Attention, reporting the target position. Strasbourg is pushing in. Let's start reversing. Watching the torps. Torpedoes, direct front. Trasporo is clearly pushing us and we don't have support. At least. Let's see where he turns. Which side he's choosing to push. He's quite low already, so probably be okay let's let's not push in too far so that the Nagato can shoot us okay nice seems like a win one one thing about the US cruisers is that they don't have they don't have torpedoes so Pushing battleships can be problematic. Three kills. Maybe four. We'll see. Someone else probably gets him before us. Nope. So that's our fourth kill. So 4 kills, 94k damage, pretty nice game, we were top tier, first in the team, 1.8k damage uh, experience. So this was the Baltimore, which is the first, first ship in the line that gets the radar. Basic, the basic claim, gameplay is pretty much the same on 
tier 6 and 7 in Pensacola and uh, New Orleans. And after this we get Buffalo with the extra gun in gun turret in the back. And then Des Moines that has the same same uh, turret configuration. And Des Moines is still really nice ship. Pretty comparable to Salem, which gets the super heal but uh, has less utility with the shorter range radar. So this I this is a line I can recommend, and probably I will introduce a couple of other cruiser lines as well in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.